if I'm a endurance athlete in my reproductive years, is there a preferred type of birth control that I could be on? This again is very individual and depends on why you wanna go on it. If you're someone with health conditions like heavy menstrual bleeding, endometriosis, then generally we're looking at a progestin-only IUD. If you're looking for a pill-based form, then you can definitely go with a combined oral contraceptive pill or the progestin-only mini pill, but it is something to really research. When we start looking at the hierarchy of what has the least residual effects, we say a copper IUD, then the progestin-only IUD, then we go progestin mini pill, and then we get into our combined oral contraceptive pills. The rationale behind that is when you're using a copper-only IUD, you're not down-regulating your own ovarian function. When you're looking at using a progestin-only IUD, then some women, actually a lot of women, start to ovulate six to eight months after insertion, so you still have your own ovarian function. Progestin-only, you'll still produce some of your own natural estrogen. It inhibits ovulation, so it takes over the progestin progesterone response. And then when you're looking at using combined oral contraceptive pill, it completely downregulates your own ovarian function and your body is reliant on those exogenous hormones. 